Hello everyone, in this video we will be going through the mesmerizing informations about the electromagnetic spectrum. The information age in which we live in is based almost on the physics of the electromagnetic waves. Why? If you observe carefully, we people are bathed, we people are immersed in the electromagnetic waves. The EM waves coming from the radio, the TV, the mobile, the antenna, the Wi-Fi, the GPS, the microwaves, the X-rays, the light. There are numerous examples I can give to you. Got it? And even using these electromagnetic waves, the aliens can detect the planet Earth. Today, our planet, the nature Earth, is emitting a lot of electromagnetic waves into the space and someday some alien species might find it out okay so now on screen you can see electromagnetic spectrum the ordered series of the electromagnetic waves frequency or wavelength is known as the electromagnetic spectrum and in theory the range of the wavelengths extend up to infinity it means this spectrum is unbound we can have electromagnetic waves of any frequency or any wavelength. Although, in this video, we'll be taking up all the electromagnetic waves in the vacuum only. In this electromagnetic spectrum, the names are given because of the historical purpose. The different parts of the EM spectrum were discovered at different times. And partly the names are given how these waves are produced and how they interact with the matter. Got it? Fundamentally, all the electromagnetic waves are same. They have the mutually perpendicular and oscillating electric and magnetic field that we have seen in the previous videos. All the electromagnetic waves, whether they are radio waves, light, x-ray, gamma ray, anything, move with the speed of light in the vacuum which we denote as c is equal to 299792458 meter per second an important number and for all these electromagnetic waves we'll be using a single formula c is equal to f lambda here c is what again the speed of light in vacuum what is f the frequency of the electromagnetic wave and what is lambda lambda is the wavelength got it Another important observation, if we look carefully, the different regions of the electromagnetic spectrum overlap. There is no sharp boundary that ultraviolet range ends here and another range starts here, visible starts here or the infrared starts here or this or that. Got it? The different regions of the electromagnetic spectrum are overlapped. Done? I request you to note down all these information and then we'll be going through the further informations. Let me ask you a simple question. Humans means we people emit which of these electromagnetic waves? Pause the video here and type your answer quickly in the comment box. If you have noted down all the informations carefully, the names or the different parts of the electromagnetic waves, I hope you can type the answer very easily. Okay, the correct answer is we emit all kind of electromagnetic waves. Yes, that's truth, but in different proportion. Majorly, the human body emits the infrared, but it also emits the radio waves, microwaves, X-rays, gamma rays. Their proportion is very, very less. The radioactive element potassium is present in our body and it emits the gamma rays, but that's very, very less. Okay. Even the banana has that radioactive element potassium. You Google about it, you'll come to know. Anyways, on the screen, if you observe the things carefully or if you have noted down the things carefully, you'll find two different words we have used. Somewhere we are writing waves and somewhere we are writing rays. Why so? Such as we are writing radio waves, microwaves, but on the other side we are writing X-rays, gamma rays. Why two different terms are used? Any guess? Any idea? Let me know it 
in the comment box what do you think about it somewhere we are using waves somewhere we are using rays the answer is dependent upon the energy think about the radio waves for radio waves the wavelength is pretty large if you see the data carefully and the photon energy is very small so these kind of radio waves are better described in the terms of the waves using the maxwell's equations for the electromagnetism got it same happens for the microwaves and on the other side if we look at the x rays and the gamma rays the wavelengths are pretty small means the energy of the photon is very high so for describing the x rays and the gamma rays will be using the photon picture got it there will be a video on the x-ray and will derive the energy of the x-ray photon you'll find that video later on so in the chapter x-ray i'll be treating the x-ray as a photon i'll neglect mostly its wave properties and i'll be treating it as a particle got it so differentiation is pretty clear whenever the photon energy is very small we'll treat that part of the electromagnetic spectrum as a wave its major properties will be very well defined if we use the wave picture and whenever the photon energies are very high then we'll be using the particle nature the photon picture the high energy photons of x-rays or the gamma rays can ionize that is also another big difference the radio waves microwaves generally cannot ionize but the x-rays and gamma rays can easily ionize can easily break the bonds note it down another question in this electromagnetic spectrum we humans can see which kind of wave again type your answer in comment box among all these waves we can see which kind of waves okay the correct answer is we cannot see any of the electromagnetic wave that's the truth many of you might have that misconception that humans can see the light that's wrong you cannot see the light light helps us to see the object such as right now you observe my face do you see any light any waves coming from my face towards you you observe my face but you do not see the em waves the light here okay light helps us in the vision light helps us in observing the things how you see my face from some tube light light is falling on my face that light gets reflected and then that light gets to the camera camera detects that light and then the video is produced same happens with you in the daily life right now in your room you can see so many things do you see the objects or do you see the light rays coming from those object think about it put your brain at work you only see the objects the light gets reflected from some particular object let's say right now your mobile is placed somewhere on the table so from some light source the light is falling on your mobile from that mobile light gets reflected toward your eyes and then retina senses that light brain does the processing and you sense the mobile but do you see any light waves coming towards the mobile or any light waves getting reflected and then coming to your retina coming to your eyes you cannot see got it let me ask you it in another way here is a tv remote if i press the button can you see something what is blinking a red led light is blinking so do you see any kind of wave coming towards you when i press the button there is the red light but do you see any waves coming towards you you can see the remote you can see the red light how you see the different colors i'll explain it from the tube light the light is falling on this remote let's say some key has the yellow color on this remote why it appears yellow 
actually from the white light coming from the tube light this yellow key is reflecting only the yellow color okay absorbing all remaining colors so this key appears yellow to you why this key appears red to you can you explain correct it is only reflecting the wavelength corresponding to the red light so this key appears red to you and it absorbs remaining all wavelengths got it when i press the button you see the red color what does it mean only the red color is traveling towards the camera okay so this appears red but you cannot see the electromagnetic waves done here is another led placed you can see it can you see the electromagnetic waves coming from this led when you press some button on the remote the channel gets changed in between your remote and the tv do you see any kind of waves propagating actually this led is emitting the infrared humans cannot see the infrared this is emitting the visible light i am pressing the button can you see the red this led emits the visible light and visible light can be sensed by the human retina human eyes and this led emits the infrared which humans cannot sense but the mobile camera can you take a remote and try to press a button and then you look at this led of your remote you won't see any glow any light anything but if you do this in front of a camera and record it you'll see something amazing i'm doing that pay attention i'm pressing a button on the remote now do you see something in this led light actually the camera my mobile camera can sense the infrared coming from this led mobile camera can sense both things the visible red light okay visible means what which helps us in observing the things you cannot see the waves so this visible light as well as the infrared the mobile camera can sense both even few mobile cameras have the infrared sensors they emit the infrared light that infrared light hits the object and then goes back to the mobile camera using that infrared light mobile camera auto focuses on that object clear if you wonder how to learn this order how to learn this series i can give you a very nice trick pay attention rich man in vijayanagar uses extra gold i'm repeating rich man in vijayanagar uses extra gold rich r stands for radio waves m men stands for the microwaves i in stands for the infrared v stands for the visible u stands for the ultraviolet x stands for the x rays and g stands for the gamma rays and after the gamma rays there are cosmic rays also we won't be discussing them in this video got it noted down or same trick few other people might learn it as rich man in village uses extra gold then i'll go through the details of each part of the em spectrum one by one the radio waves are produced by the electrons oscillating inside the antenna and radio waves are also produced by the astronomical sources such as the neutron stars etc the radio waves can be detected using the antenna or the radio telescopes the radio waves practical application we find in our daily life in the mobile phone for the communication in the radio the am radio the fm radio in the transmission of the tv signals okay radio waves another major application is the radars radars are used to locate the planes the missiles or to locate the school of fish in the ocean radars are used to find the distance of the other planets with respect to the earth so there are numerous use of the radio waves the radio waves are also used in biology 
फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल इज द कॉक्लियर इम्प्लांट इन कॉक्लियर इम्प्लांट देर आर द रेडियो ट्रांसमीटर्स एंड द रेडियो रिसीवर इंस्टॉल्ड एंड यूजिंग दीज अ पर्सन कैन हियर गॉट इट अनदर यूजफुल एग्जाम्पल इज द वायरलेस कैप्सूल एंडोस्कोपी अ स्मॉल टाइनी कैप्सूल is having again a camera a radio transmitter and there is a radio receiver outside so the capsule is fed to the patient it goes inside and then releases the picture sends the picture broadcasts the picture and the antenna outside the detection system outside gets the inner pictures got it note down all these important uses then we'll go further for the next part of the em spectrum the microwaves are also known as the short wavelength radio waves microwaves are produced by the artificial sources such as special kind of vacuum tubes the magnetron or the klystron microwaves are also produced by the gun diodes and there are the astronomical sources in the big bang a large amount of microwave was produced and it's yet observable in the entire universe the astronomers call it cosmic microwave background cmb and using it they estimate the age of the universe other notable uses of the microwaves are in the radars in the speed guns the microwaves are used the police inspector uses these speed guns to find the speed of a particular vehicle in the cricket or in the tennis the speed of the ball can again be obtained using the speed guns got it another important use of the microwaves is in the communication system the tv the mobile the wifi the wifi system in your home they are actually using the microwaves you go and check the frequencies they are in the range of gigahertz and the microwave frequencies are also in the range of gigahertz let me know the frequency range of your wifi system type it in the comment box okay another practical use of the microwaves in our daily life is the microwave oven it was developed in the 1945 the year when the world war 2 got ended actually the microwaves were used in the radars in the second world war the duration 1939 to 1945 after the world war was over there were numerous useful applications of the microwaves the percy spencer discovered the microwave cooking accidentally actually in 1945 he was building a magnetron tube and the chocolate inside his pocket started melting he knew that electromagnetic waves carries the energy so he thought this energy can be used to cook the food and then he tried with the kernels of the popcorn they popped out then he tried with the egg a raw egg which exploded so this is how the microwave oven was discovered here you can see the picture of a microwave oven inside the microwave oven there are special vacuum tubes the magnetron or the klystron which produces the microwaves and we put the food articles containing some amount of water the water molecules are actually polar and these microwaves have the oscillating electric field as well as the magnetic field a dipole tries to align itself in the direction of field so the water molecules the dipoles rapidly oscillate in one second the 10 to power 9 cycles happen so these rapidly oscillating water molecules collide with the neighboring molecules breaks the bond and that way the kinetic energy of the vibrating rotating oscillating molecules is transferred to the nearby molecules got it this process is called conduction and it heats up the food article normal oven also 
use the process of the conduction but in normal oven the heat stays major part of the heat stays at the surface so the cooking is not even got the difference in microwave there is a spinning system which keeps the food rotating so the even heating takes place from everywhere there are microwave incident and entire food gets heated evenly why we use the porcelain or special kind of microwave safe cookwares in the microwave oven we never put the food articles in the steel utensils or the metal utensils in the microwave oven can you tell me the answer actually when microwave hits the metals they knock out the electrons and it may cause the spark and if you touch such a metallic object you might also get an electric shock so the food articles are never placed in the metallic objects inside the microwave oven we never even wrap them in the aluminium foil also we always put them in a special glass or a ceramic bowl or special kind of plastic cookware which are microwave safe clear so microwave will heat up those food articles very easily which have plenty of the water and if there is some article which doesn't have the water molecules microwave will not heat it up example is the mineral oil if you put the mineral oil inside the microwave oven and you keep it switched on for 5 10 minutes you take out the mineral oil nothing will happen the temperature of the mineral oil will remain constant unchanged got it if you put a jelly inside the microwave oven it gets heated up like anything okay if you know any other practical application of the microwaves let me know in the comment box then i'll go further another important observation the door of the microwave oven has a metallic sheet containing small holes what do you think will the microwaves escape out from these holes the correct answer is no the wavelength of the microwaves is much greater as compared to the dimensions of the holes so the microwaves will actually get reflected from these holes entire metal structure of the microwave oven helps in reflecting the microwaves inside only got it so note down all these informations then we'll go to the next part of the electromagnetic spectrum the infrared is also known as the heat waves as the infrared is emitted by the heated objects atoms molecules okay the frequency of the infrared is lower than the frequency of the visible light and the infrared has numerous application one application you might remember i took the infrared is used in all remote systems i think you can observe it clearly see this is emitting the infrared okay another practical use of the infrared in the missile tracking systems using the heat coming out of the fighter jets the missile can track the fighter jets you might have seen in many hollywood movies the fighter jet pilot changes its course even then the missile follows that course there are the infrared sensors used infrared sensors are also used in the satellites for the military purpose as well as in the detection of the crops the infrared sensors are used in the infrared thermometers during the covid if you have visited a shop or a mall or to a doctor how do they check the temperature there is someone who is holding an infrared thermometer and then infrared coming out from your body that intensity is measured and the thermometer gives the temperature in 2009 to detect the cases of the swine flu the government officials installed the infrared sensors at the airports another practical use of the infrared is by the electricians using the thermographs electrician come to know that which part of the circuit is getting overheated which part is going to get failed first 
so they can remove out that part and replace it as soon as possible to avoid any kind of failure infrared is also used by the construction engineer using the thermograph of a home the engineers come to know from where the energy is leaking out from where the heat is leaking out of the home they can provide the better thermal insulation then got it here you can see the different colors mostly the energy is leaking out from the windows means windows require better heat insulation okay the infrared lamps are used to relieve the strain in any part of the body physiotherapists use it a lot another practical example where you can sense the infrared in your daily life you switch on the gas burner for some time and then you switch it off once it has been switched off you hover your hand over the gas burner do you feel some heat actually it is because of the infrared waves the burner is heated up and heated up bodies emit the infrared waves got it another practical use of the infrared is in the infrared ear thermometers it's a great tool in taking the temperature of a baby or of a hyperactive kid the lower part of the brain hypothalamus controls the temperature of the entire human body and our eardrum is located very close to the hypothalamus so when the infrared ear thermometer is inserted inside the ear it receives the infrareds from the hypothalamus and it gives the accurate temperature of the human body we eat or we drink it won't change the temperature of the hypothalamus and this method is very quick less than in a second the temperature can be measured very accurately in few good instruments it can be measured in 0.1 second or even in 0.3 seconds okay another practical use of the infrared is by the rattlesnakes or the pit vipers they can detect the infrared keep in mind few species of the snakes can detect the infrared here you can see an image infrared image the mouse has been caught by the rattlesnake what do you think the temperature of the body of the mouse will rise or will fall down you can sense it through this picture the mouse is trying to get away from the grip of the snake its temperature is greater okay here is another picture a snake in the hand of a man can you sense which object has high temperature some species of the beetles can detect the forest fire from far away actually from the far away they sense the infrared coming from the forest fire and these beetles fly toward that infrared to lay down their eggs in the heated up or the burned woods so by looking at the behavior of these bees people can predict about the jungle fire got it the forest fire the infrared is used in the night vision cameras in many cinema halls nowadays the infrared cameras are installed while a movie is getting played let's say it's totally dark in the cinema hall but these infrared cameras can generate the clear pictures so if you are going to cinema hall for watching a movie just watch the movie carefully do not do anything else pay attention it's important for you the infrared cameras are used by the military you might have seen in television shows or the movies there is total dark and then the military personals they wear special kind of glasses and then they can see clearly through the dark okay they can hit at the target very easily this is with the help of the infrared there are many hollywood movies in which you'll find such kind of scenes if you have seen any one of them let me know in the comment box the bad bugs are attracted towards their prey by the infrared okay now i am going to explain few important terms such as the greenhouse effect the global warming the nuclear winter pay attention here is the earth and the sun emits all possible kinds of the electromagnetic waves that we know so from the sun 
the visible light and the radio waves reach to the surface of the earth here is the atmosphere of the earth due to this atmosphere the high frequency ultraviolet the infrared the x-ray the gamma ray all these gets absorbed keep in mind this atmosphere of the earth absorbs the infrared the high frequency ultraviolet the x-ray the gamma ray coming from the sun so if you want to place a detector to detect the x-rays or the gamma rays can you place it on earth no the x-ray and gamma ray detectors are placed in the orbit in the space while as the detector for the radio waves can be placed on the earth surface got it now since the earth is absorbing the visible light due to this the earth surface gets heated up this heated up earth surface emits the infrared now in the atmosphere there is the presence of the carbon dioxide there is the presence of ammonia there is the presence of the water vapor all these molecules actually absorb this infrared and due to which here the temperature is maintained got it now this is known as the greenhouse effect if the concentration of these gases or the water vapors keep on increasing what will happen it will absorb more and more and more infrareds and then the temperature of the atmosphere the temperature of the earth will eventually rise that we call as the global warming the effect of the global warming you can see in many of my videos the t-shirt will get wet anyways another important term is the nuclear winter few scientists predict in case of a nuclear war there will be smoke and that smoke will cover up the almost part of the sky so it will block the entry of the visible light from the sun if the sunlight is not getting absorbed by the earth's surface what will happen its temperature will become low and low that state we call as the nuclear winter everything will get freeze and 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 another important thing if the ultraviolet high frequency ultraviolet if they are not absorbed by the ozone present in the atmosphere what will happen to the people living here high frequency uv causes the skin cancer so it's good for us there is ozone layer in the atmosphere which absorbs the ultraviolet okay you may note down all these informations then we'll go further now comes the most familiar part of the electromagnetic spectrum the visible light it can be detected by the human eyes or the charge coupled device in the cameras okay the human eyes sensitivity is maximum for the yellowish green color at which the sun's energy output is maximum it is not just a coincident that human eye is evolved to be most sensitive to that part of electromagnetic spectrum which is most intense in the sunlight okay for different animals the visible range is different even for few insect it goes up to ultraviolet it depends on their needs okay note down these informations then we'll go further now we'll see the details of the ultraviolet the word ultraviolet means above the violet ultraviolet is produced when an electron in the inner shell jumps to the lower energy state okay ultraviolet can be produced by the black lamp it can be produced by very hot stars we'll see the variety of the application and the uses of the ultraviolet one regular use of the ultraviolet in our daily life 
is in the water purifiers nowadays in good air purifier also the ultraviolet is used the ultraviolet causes the tanning of the skin by producing melanin okay high exposure of the ultraviolet can lead to the skin cancer there are three categories of the ultraviolet uva uvb and uvc out of these three categories uvc causes the maximum damage to the tissues that's why people use the sunscreen when they are going out the sunscreen actually absorbs the ultraviolet the ozone in the atmosphere also absorbs the ultraviolet coming from the sun ordinary glass can block the ultraviolet that's why when you are sitting inside a home and the window has the ordinary glass you won't get the sun burn the ultraviolet can even cause the cataract in the eyes so to protect the eyes the welders use the special kind of the glasses because the welding arc contains the ultraviolet even the reflected sunlight from the snow contains the ultraviolet which can cause the snow blindness that why the mountaineers use the special kind of the glasses so whenever you go out in the sun you should wear good quality of glasses which can protect you from the ultraviolet got it the ultraviolet is used in the bug zappers actually the ultraviolet is produced by the black light but some visible light escapes the filter material so the lamp glows blue or violet okay you might have seen such installations in the hotels or the restaurants or even in your homes you use such kind of lights to kill the insects or the bugs the ultraviolet light is used in the laboratories to kill the microorganisms or in the hospitals the uv light is used for the sterilization of the medical instruments or the apparatus the ultraviolet light is used to preserve the food another application of the ultraviolet is in the detection of the fake currency so you can note down all these informations then we'll go further next important part of the electromagnetic spectrum is the x ray it was discovered by the william ronjan in 1895 and for this marvelous discovery he got the first nobel prize in the year 1901 here on the screen you can see one of the first x ray obtained by the william ronjan it is showing the hand of his wife bertha now looking at this picture we can clearly tell that x ray can penetrate the soft tissues but cannot penetrate the bones so x ray has numerous applications in the medicine in the biology in the ct scan an x ray source is rotated around the body and then a three dimensional image can be produced with the help of the computers i hope you all are aware about it the high frequency x ray can cause the skin burn or cancer or other harmful effects x rays are used to treat the certain forms of the cancer the x rays can be used to detect the cracks inside the metallic objects or the machines the x rays are used in studying the crystal structures x rays are used widely in the astronomy also okay if you know any other practical use of the x ray let me know in the comment box then we'll go towards the last part of this video the gamma ray here comes the last and the most energetic part of the electromagnetic spectrum what we are discussing in this video the gamma ray the gamma rays are produced when an excited nucleus transits to the lower energy state it emits the gamma photons okay their energy is very high so gamma photons are used to burn the cancer cells but high dose of the gamma photons can even cause the cancer in 1930 few women used to paint the radium dials of the clock later on they developed the leukemia or the breast cancer 
द सर्वाइवर्स ऑफ द हिरोशिमा एंड नागासा की आफ्टर द ड्रॉप ऑफ द एटमिक बॉम्ब दे ऑल्सो डेवलप्ड वेरियस फॉर्म्स ऑफ द कैंसर सो हाई एक्सपोजर ऑफ द गामा रेडिएशन इज हजरडस फॉर द ह्यूमन बींग्स A gamma ray burst can release more energy in 10 second than the sun will produce in its entire lifetime. The sources of the gamma ray bursts in the universe are still under investigation, and to detect such burst, the detectors are placed in the orbits. As we had the talk earlier, that our atmosphere absorbs the gamma radiations, so the detectors are placed above the atmosphere. got it so this is all about this video now you will be getting a checkpoint and its answer for your conceptual practice stay awesome see you again bye bye